Today we're making three easy and delicious tofu recipes that anyone can make. We are back with a, another recipe video and we actually are doing a video dedicated solely to tofu because the last one we put out you seemed to really enjoy it and we really enjoyed putting it together so here we are with part two. If you missed the first video it'll be linked down below but basically we just went over the different forms of tofu that exist and we showed you how to prepare each one. Mm -hmm. We have dessert in there too if you want to make a high protein chocolate mousse tart. I think that's what we made in it so go check that out we will link it below and in the cards. Today we are making three savory tofu recipes and the reason why these are all savory is because we wanted to show you how to make a base recipe for the tofu to how to make crispy tofu, super easy, super simple. Which I might add is delicious on it's, its own. It's really good on its own. And then we're gonna show you how to transform that single recipe into three other recipes so that you can make three recipes out of one. So strap in, it's gonna be a fun one. Let's get cooking. Good morning, everybody. I actually just rolled out of bed. I tried to make myself as presentable as possible. I'm going to do my skincare, and I wanted to talk to you about one of the products that I've been using lately from a brand called Osea, which is actually sponsoring today's video. So Osea is a brand that's vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, clean, and it's California-made. I actually learned about them when I was living in California. They're one of the first vegan skincare companies I learned about when I was on the hunt for clean vegan skincare. Not only are all of their products vegan cruelty free, made in California, they're also sustainably packaged and non-toxic. And something that I love is with all their formulations, with their whole business in general, they focus on the health of not only our skin, but the health of our planet. So with all of their formulations, they wanna make sure they're doing the best for us and the best for our planet. Their name actually comes from their four pillow pillars, ocean, sun, earth, and atmosphere. And that also is something that they use with all of their formulations. That's something they focus on. I also wanted to mention today when I filmed this ad, it is International Women's Day. It's not gonna be when you see this video, but I did wanna mention that because Osea is actually a family run business from a family of women. So it's a women owned company, which is awesome. And you should definitely check them out. I'll have all of the information down below. And I also have a discount code for 10% off, Jasmine10 off, I believe is my code. The product that I am specifically focusing on today is the Osea Hyaluronic C Serum. This is a great moisturizing product. I've been obsessed with it, especially because I have dry skin. Chris has been using it as well. So he honestly uses any product that I have and we have the same skincare routine. He's over there. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> he's, on, he's laying on the floor. I do not know why. All right, so check out Osea. It will be linked down below. And also if you're in LA, they have a studio in Venice where you can go for consultations, personalized facials. I definitely want to do that the next time I'm back. And let's get back into the video. So the first step for prepping our tofu for all three of these recipes is pressing our blocks of tofu. This is really easy. You don't need any fancy or special equipment. Although you could buy a tofu press online, we just do it with some cutting boards and a baking sheet or any lipped plate. So as you can see, we have our baking sheet, our tofu, and our cutting boards on top. We also have the inside of our Instant Pot for added weight. And you just press it until the liquid comes out, probably like 30 minutes to an hour. The longer the better, that'll draw out the most liquid and we explained this in the last video but I'm gonna talk about it again the reason why you do this is because tofu is like a sponge you want to squeeze out all the extra unflavored water I guess that comes in the tofu and then rehydrate it with flavored liquid so that the tofu is more flavored a lot of people don't like tofu but I think it's just because it's not seasoned correctly they don't know how to cook tofu but once you take our crispy tofu recipe take our tips from this video you will be a tofu master once the tofu is pressed, we're just gonna dice it up and you can really cut this into whatever size, shape you'd like. For the recipes today, for the first two, we're cutting the tofu into about one inch cubes. For the second recipe, we're cutting them a bit smaller, I would say half the size, but you could really cut them however you'd like, whatever you prefer. These are just our recommendations for these three recipes. Once the tofu is diced, we're gonna transfer it to a large bowl and I'm pouring over some soy sauce. This is gonna give the tofu a lot of good flavor. It's gonna soak that up and like I said earlier, you wanna replace the unflavored flavored liquid with flavored liquid and that is where the soy sauce comes in. So we're going to toss it in the soy sauce and then I'm adding a pinch of salt and a pinch of white pepper and I'm going to finish it off with some cornstarch. The cornstarch will really help the tofu crisp up. It'll give it a nice skin on the outside when you fry it up. 
yeah, it just becomes perfect and golden. I like to add the cornstarch in, I guess, two waves. I add half of it first, mix that together, then add the second half. I feel like that evenly coats it more, it doesn't clump up on the tofu, and you get crispy tofu all around. So this is the base recipe we're using for the three tofus we're prepping today. You can also modify this recipe for making other recipes and use other seasonings that you want. You can add nutritional yeast, chili powder, cumin, whatever you want, but we want you to use this recipe as a base. All right, and last but not least, you just have to fry these up. So we are going to heat some avocado oil in a pan, toss these in there, and we're gonna cook it at about medium low. You don't want the heat too high because they may start burning. Low and slow, baby, that is the trick for these. You're gonna crisp them up on all sides as best you can, and you've got yourself the perfect crispy tofu base for all of our sauces. Our tofu is nice and crispy, and now we're gonna prep our sauces. So first we're making General Tso's chicken, well, not chicken, tofu, but it's inspired by General Tso's chicken. I've actually never had the chicken version. I've only ever had the tofu version. Really? Yeah, it's not something I used to eat when I was younger, but it's an Ameri North American Chinese recipe. It's actually pretty easy to prep at home, and it is so delicious, packed with flavor, and I just love saucy things, so this is right up my alley. So for the sauce, it is super simple. First, we're gonna mix together some vegan chicken broth. Some people come at us and they're like, well, that's just vegetable broth. I guess it technically is, but it has poultry seasoning in it. It has that chickeny flavor and it'll help us here accomplish that chickeny flavor, like I said. So we're adding in some vegan chicken broth. We're adding in some soy sauce along with some brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, you can also use some white sugar as well. Then we have some vegan hoisin. We will link the vegan one down below that we use. It is pretty easy to find. I feel like typically there is a vegetarian version. They typically say vegetarian, but they're typically vegan. Some rice vinegar, and lastly, some white pepper. I'm gonna whisk this together until it is nice and uniform. Next, we're gonna go back to our pan, and there is a little bit of oil left in it, but if you need to add another tablespoon of oil, we're gonna cook up first some garlic, ginger, and red pepper flakes. We're using red pepper flakes because that is what we had here, but you can use some fresh peppers, you can use dry peppers, you can just use the flakes like we did, and you can adjust the spice level based on your preference. So we're gonna cook those until they are nice and fragrant. And then I'm adding in the sauce that we prepared, and I'm gonna whisk that together and bring it to a simmer. And once it's simmering, we're gonna prep a cornstarch slurry. So this is just gonna help it become nice and thick. So we just have some hot water here, we're mixing it with some cornstarch, and then we're gonna pour it in. The reason why we prep it separately is because this way it ensures that it'll be nice and smooth, there won't be chunks of corn starch in it. So we're gonna cook that until it becomes as thick as we want it to be. Then we're gonna toss in our tofu along with some toasted sesame oil. It'll add a great flavor to it. Make sure you get toasted. And we're just gonna mix that through until it is well coated and you are ready to enjoy. We like to serve ours with some green onions and sesame seeds over a bed of rice. It is so good, I cannot wait for you to try it. So freaking good. It's a little spicy. I mean, at least for me, I don't really do well with spice. I haven't started coughing yet. Uh, yeah. I might, but. Mm. Oh, there's the heat. Mm -hmm. Adjust the heat based on your preference. You can leave out the chili flakes if you really don't want any spice. It would still be equally as delicious. Um, if you are a tofu hater, this will definitely change your mind. 100%. It has great texture. Oh, so freaking good. It's filling, good for meal prep. We forgot to mention earlier that Pressing the tofu does change the texture slightly as well. It's not as like wet and it's not as soft, which is nice because when you are cooking a vegan protein, you want that texture, you want that bite. And another thing you can do is actually freeze tofu. I was just gonna say. If you don't wanna press it. And that is also a great option. You can do that for these too. Once it thaws, after it's frozen, it'll draw out even more moisture. Yeah. So it'll get really like dense. It's like spongy more, almost. Yeah. yeah, maybe not dense, more spongy. And, and it has like a real like PC chick chickeny texture. Or yeah, something. so we. That's coffee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! In our last tofu video, we made a vegan fried chicken out of tofu, and we did do the freezing method, and we showed how the texture changed, how it was very chickeny, and just really, I guess, pleasing and very satisfying. Um, so if you do have extra time, you can also freeze it. But if you don't have extra time, you want to make it the day of, you can just press it. So it really just works. depends. There's also super firm tofu. I think they sell it at Trader Joe's. Yeah. Where it's kind of like pre-pressed, basically. It's, like, it's like a like almost like a vacuum sealed package. Yeah. There's like very, very, very little liquid, and that is also a great option if you don't want to press or do anything. Just cut it, and that will be good to go. 
All right, let's get on to the next recipe. You eating my rice, girl? Yeah. The next recipe we're making it. <laughs> Hi, Bear. Hi, baby. The next recipe we're making is for orange tofu. It's actually very similar to the recipe we just made. The only difference is that we're adding orange juice and orange zest. Uh, and then the ratios are a little bit different. So if you are interested in meal prepping, a few different recipes for the week, this is great because you can buy all the ingredients for this and you can make two completely different recipes. It's fun to make two different things so you have some variety if you are meal prepping. But for this orange tofu, it's super simple to make. In a bowl, we're gonna make our sauce and all we're gonna do is add in some orange juice along with some soy sauce, brown sugar, rice vinegar, and some orange zest. We'll just whisk that together until smooth. And then we're gonna go back to our cast iron pan and we're gonna heat up our skillet to medium heat. The whole process to make the orange tofu is similar to the general salves that we just made. We're gonna cook the garlic, ginger, and red pepper flakes with some oil and a skillet. And once that's heated, we're gonna add the sauce we just made in, along with a cornstarch slurry. We'll bring that to a simmer and let it thicken up, and then we'll add in our tofu. And then we'll also add some toasted sesame oil to that. We'll give it a mix through, fully coat our tofu in the sauce, and we're ready to serve. To serve our tofu, we just have a warm bed of white rice. We're topping our orange tofu on that, and then sprinkling over some toasted sesame seeds and green onion. We both just had a bowl of the other tofu, so we're gonna share this one. But I wanted to mention, these both have the same amount of red pepper flakes in them, but this one is a little less spicy, at least for me. Um, I think the sweetness just balances out nicely. Mmm. So freaking bomb. Do you think you like this one better? Yeah. I like them both. Yeah, my hair, yeah. They're both really good, but I just, I think I love the sweetness of this. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for me to eat next to you so close. The tofu has been sitting out for a while since we prepped that first today, but it still has that like crunch and that crust. Yeah, you can feel the skin, like mm -hmm. the crispy-ish I think if we had coated it immediately, it would have been way, oh my God, I'm dropping all the rice. I can't eat this close to you. <laughs> with chopsticks. And as always, all the recipes that we make link today will be linked down below. Also on our Instagrams, if you want to check them out there. They're everywhere, baby. They're everywhere. The last and final recipe we're making in this video is a vegan sisig. And sisig is a Filipino recipe that's typically made with pork, got pork belly, pork face in it, I believe. Pork face. Pork face. And also you add in some calamansit, which is a Filipino citrus, onion, spicy peppers. And I've never actually had the non-vegan version of sisig. It's just not something my family um, would make. This is from the Pampanga region. So, um, this is my first experience with sisig, but it is a delicious one. I know that because we've tested it before this. So let's get started. The tofu for this recipe is prepared similarly, except we're using extra firm tofu and the pieces are cut a little bit smaller. Also before adding the tofu to the pan, we're gonna heat some oil in our skillet and then add some black peppercorns and bay leaves to kind of flavor the oil a little bit. After those fry up for just a few minutes, we're gonna remove them and then we'll add in our tofu. Next up, we're prepping the sauce. We're mixing together some vegetable broth, soy sauce. You can also use tamari here as well. We have some white vinegar, sugar, black pepper, and a pinch of salt. We're just gonna whisk that together until it is nice and uniform and set that aside. So we're gonna go back to our pan now. There's still some leftover oil in it. If you don't have leftover oil, add a couple drizzles, but if you do, you can just use the oil that's in there. We're gonna cook up some garlic, red onion, and then we have a bunch of peppers. We have jalapeno peppers, Thai chilies, and bell peppers. Typically, they use these two peppers in the sisig, and we don't have access to those, so we just use what we were able to access. So you can just adjust this based on your preference, and if you don't want it spicy, you can just stick to bell peppers only. We're gonna add a pinch of salt and just saute that for a couple of minutes until everything is fragrant and starts to soften. Next, we're gonna add in some mushrooms. You can use any mushrooms of your choice. We have baby bella mushrooms, but you can add another mushroom variety of your choice, or you can mix it up and add a few. They'll add really great texture and some variety to the sisig. So we're gonna add the mushrooms along with some fresh ginger and a pinch of salt and we're just going to cook that until the mushrooms begin to soften and basically until they're cooked. Now we're just going to add in our prepared sauce along with the crispy tofu. Just mix that all together. Then we have some vegan mayo here. Don't want to skip out on this. It adds a great richness to the sisig and I don't know, it just kind of brings everything together. It adds fat to it, so it kind of starts to fry a bit more in the pan. We're finishing it off with some raw red onions for crunch. 
a drizzle of lemon juice, and lastly, some green onions. I don't have calamansi here, I was sad. Um, I'm gonna have my mom ship me some soon, so I'll be making seasick with that. But in the meantime, I use lemon. You can also use lime as well. And then if you have it, we have some vegan chicharron that we got sent from a company in the Philippines. I will put them down below. I'll put them on the screen as well. This is made out of mushrooms. It is so good, so reminiscent of my childhood, and it's great to dip into vinegar. If you know, you know, it is so good. So I topped it off with the vegan chicharron, and we are ready to dive in. This is the vegan chicharron we used. Okay, okay, it's not sizzling anymore. Got it. Had to take some pictures, but I wanted to mention um, this is served typically on a hot plate and it's sizzling. We don't have, we have a, a hot, hot plate. Cast we had a cast iron. iron. I was like, I don't want to put it in another thing just to it's eat. It's the it. same thing. Same I feel thing. like right. It's really hot, so I'm scared. I'm spicy. That is so That's good. so freaking good. You know, I've never had oh pork face before, but I think I like this better. <laughs> I have. I added the Thai chilies, and that made it. <clears throat> <laughs> Definitely a spicy. spicy. I'm trying to avoid them, but I can't because they look like bell peppers. But you can just do bell peppers if you want it to not be spicy. You can leave out the Thai chilies. You can <laughs> leave out the jalapeno. Is it that spicy? That's <laughs> your water. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's good, but it is. I'm like eating it sparingly right now. <sighs> it's good. It's freaking good, man. Oh my god, those Thai chilies are <laughs> destroying me. I can't stop eating it though. All right, that is all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know which recipe you want to try first down below. Like always, all the recipes are in the description box. Also, if you haven't seen our first tofu video, make sure you check that one out as well. It'll be linked down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up. If you like it. Yeah, we appreciate you guys being here. Subscribe. Thanks all for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye. Thank you.